Hi, Kevin from Bowser Builds here. Today we're going to change out the brake master cylinder on the MG. Let's go. So the last time we were together, we changed out all of the front brake components, uh, changed out the wheel bearings, got everything set up and ready to go. Um, after bleeding the system, I still had quite a bit of uh, play in the pedal. Um, bled through the system, bled through the system, changed out the rear brakes, bled through the system, still had that same problem. Um, so my next solution was to check into the brake master cylinder. Now I've had one for a while on hand just in case. It's just a matter of changing it up. So today, when I went to check on this one, the fluid has actually gone out. And so after doing some research, the seal inside of here has actually been leaking down inside the cab, down the front of this. Um, so this for sure is bad and one of the reasons why I'm not getting a solid pedal on the brakes. So we're gonna change this out. In order to do so, much like the first time when we changed uh, out the clutch master cylinder, uh, we have to take this bracket out, take the pedals off the assembly, um, and then there's two brake lines here that we have to get to. Once those are done, uh, we'll go through, we'll have to bleed the entire system again. But once that's done, uh, aside from the metal brake lines in the vehicle, all of the rubber lines and all of the brake lines themselves will have been replaced on the vehicle. Let's get started. So we've got the bolts out of the bottom base. Um, this little guy here, which actually drives the pedal and pushes into here, um, you want to keep that. That's reusable into the new one. Um, but I removed the uh, boot and it's just, you can see a clear line uh, where fluid's just been draining out of this thing. So once again, I'm glad I'm changing it. Um, there is a uh, bolt that goes through with a nut on the other side. So the easiest way to do this is actually remove this piece out of here. I'm not going to disconnect everything entirely um, because I don't want to have to reconnect everything on the clutch. Uh, so I'll pull it out just far enough so I can get to the back uh, brake line here and get into these two bolts here. One master cylinder pulled out. Gonna have to take it over somewhere and try to get this out of there because it's uh, pretty well stuck. So, all right. So we have our old one versus our new one. Uh, this looks to be, uh, it's Lockheed, so it's probably original to the car. Um, this is an aftermarket one picked up, I believe, uh, either Moss Motors, Amazon, I can't remember exactly. Um, this tube here where the brake line comes in this banjo bolt will have to come out and we have to replace it in this one. This already has that uh, installed, so just gotta get this guy out of there. Okay, so now we got this all apart. Give it a good little spray down. Goes on the body side, so it's going to go there, just like so. Okay. And then the last thing we have to do is we have to uh, bench bleed the master cylinder to make sure that we get all the fluid or no air bubbles in here. So, okay. 
So what I'm going to do for my bench bleeding, I'm going to use the same vacuum bleeder I used on the brakes themselves. Be able to take this little guy here, stick it into there, make it seal tight, and let it suck all the air out and pull the fluid through. Pump it a couple times, it'll help keep that going. So we're going to give that a shot. So the easiest way to get this back in is to actually install the two lines before you put it into the bracket. That way you know you get them in seated perfectly and uh, get a good tight fit and make sure it's not leaking. So try to get that finagled in there. So one of the things that uh, has been recommended through the forums and such that I've seen um, is to actually tap out the uh, bracket on here. Um, so you can just thread a bolt straight through and pull it towards the piece instead of having to use a uh, bolt and a nut. Um, I don't have a tap or and die set, so I'm just gonna have to go back to the way it was originally. Um, kind of a pain, but it's not too bad. It's just a matter of getting the nut on the back and the bolt through. Okay, so we got it all bolted back in. Went ahead and tightened up the um, two brake lines coming in. Uh, next, we got to put the pedal assembly back in, um, mount it to the body of the car again. Once that's done, it'll be bleeding all four brakes. Okay, next step, top off the fluid. Then we will bleed the system and take it for a test drive. Much better break this time. Concludes our uh, repair for the day. Got that master cylinder all uh, replaced. The whole system's bled. We got uh, many projects to come. So if there's something you'd like to see uh, us do next, please drop that down in the comments below. Um, and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, uh, like, share this with some friends, and uh, until we see you again, stay safe out there. Thanks.